Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide. And this time we are getting it all in Boom Blaster. A fun run and gun type game developed by Big Bread, published by Chili Dog Interactive and is available for a very small £4.19. So if you've played many run and, game, uh, run and gun games previously, this is no different. We are going to be shooting our way through many enemies and getting every achievement and trophy along the way. Only this time we get a lot of help in the terms of cheat codes. Where we can restore our health at any point, open all the levels and get a lot of coins for upgrades. So we will be using this cheat code quite a few times in the game. Now this should only take us around an hour, maybe less to complete depending on how good you are at these sort of games. So enough messing up. About, let us get into it then. So we are going to be starting a new game. Obviously, that's pretty much the most obvious thing you can do. And you have three characters to choose from. You have Robot, Cat Lady, or Big Boob Lady right here. Which, for some reason, it always that just always happens to every woman in mostly every game. I don't know why, but that's how it is. Um, again, you've got the human hybrid cat for some reason as well. So anyway, you start off with this little cutscene and we're going to be playing through a tutorial. So the buttons are, you've got the right bumper to jump, or if you want to double jump, press the right bumper twice in quick succession, the left bumper to shoot, and then the right trigger to throw bombs. Also, use the left trigger to slide under uh, things, but we're not going to be doing it that much. To climb up walls, then just press the left directional stick into the way that you're going up the wall and keep pressing the right bumper. So if you're going right, obviously you'll be pressing the left stick right. Easy enough. Um, obviously, jump over these gaps. You can use these vines. Um, again, press right bumper to jump up on them, and then you don't have to do anything else. So it, it may take just a little bit of getting used to with this tutorial, but once you have the buttons figured out, it is quite easy. So here is one of the grenades. General Zukov, very Street Fighter-esque, right? Uh, so use the right trigger to throw bombs. Again, I think we'll only be using bombs once throughout the entire game. Of course, thanks to all of these beautiful cheat codes. So, just a case now of just getting through the end of the tutorial. So again, press the right bumper to jump, and then the left, uh, left directional stick, either right or left, depending on which way you are climbing up against the walls. So, your tutorial achievement will unlock here. I already unlocked it. Uh, messing about in that so now we can just get straight into it then so the first thing we're going to be doing is going on to chapter one which is called the factory and obviously playing level one so i've put the cheat codes up here but basically we can just start straight away so obviously the left bumper to shoot it'll be the right directional stick to aim and you see these little robots that are just harmlessly doing nothing we're going to be shooting them <laughs> 10 times poor little bastards so, yep, jump here, and you can just see the robot on the left, just working out, not trying to kill you, not trying to get involved, but we're going to be shooting that particular robot ten times until the achievement unlocks. Again, it won't unlock for me on screen. I'd already unlocked it by pissing about. So, there you go. You can just see him working. So, yeah, make sure, kill him ten times, wait until the achievement unlocks, and then we can actually move on. Now, again, I've put the cheat code up the top, so if you are running low on health... As you can see, it'll say restore health, open all levels, or add 500 coins. So for now, just make sure to restore the health, which is the top option. But for now, we can just uh, carry on the game for a little bit. Remember, uh, press the right bumper to double jump in quick succession. That is for the double jump. And that, this is where we get our first checkpoint. You can just see that little thing try to stick up inside of you. That means it's checkpoint, so... You know, again, for the most part, thanks to the Restore All Health, for the most part, this is pretty much easy. Uh, we are coming up to uh, two achievements, uh, which we can get in quick succession. So again, I'm just going to be restoring the health. Sorry, I've put the cheat code in the way, but Restore All Health is at the top of the pile there. So, here's the second checkpoint then. This is where we're going to be getting the achievements. So go to the right a little bit. You can just ignore all the enemies. Jump over these little platforms, and you can see the bomb on top of us here. So double jump up here, double jump, go backwards, and then... Now, what I found, for some reason... So we're going to be... You have to 
collect 10 of those bombs for the achievement. So we'll be collecting the bomb, dying, and then collecting that same bomb as that will count. So jump up, collect the bomb, press right trigger to get rid of them all, and then kill yourself. Now, like I said, for some reason, it can glitch and it may take you quite a lot longer. I actually ended up having to collect about 13 to 14 bombs, maybe even 15, before the achievement unlocked. So grab it, throw your bombs, kill yourself, and then wait until that achievement unlocks. Now, when we die, this time head to the left. Now, kill this robot. You don't actually have to. But if you head to the bottom and then take a double jump, you can see where the green icon is there. That is the health pickup. So we'll need to be collecting 15 of these for the achievement unlock. So it's the same case then. So jump up, grab the plus symbol, which is, of course, first aid, health, Kill yourself on the barrels below and just keep going until you unlock it. I also end up dis uh, collecting the achieving the destroying 100 enemies achievement there as well. But just one quick thing now, achievement progress may stop working. So if you go and check your achievements, I'm not sure if it's the same on the PlayStation 5, but once you're back in the game, it seemingly freezes. So if an achievement or trophy doesn't unlock or progress any further for whatever reason, completely quit, uh, quit out and load back in. You should be back to where you start, providing you get the checkpoint. So sorry guys, yeah, it is just so constant, everything's just rushing at us so quick. Uh, but just head to the right, now what we are going to do here is open up your cheat menu uh, because we are literally coming up to the boss right now, very easy boss so don't worry about him, but open up your cheat menu Make sure to pick Restore All Health, Open All Levels, and Add 500 Coins. Now, tap the Add 500 Coin button until you get to about 17,000, 18,000. So, just keep smashing it. And as you can see on the right there, it says that I've got about 18,000 coins or 1,800. So, obviously, make sure to be doing that. You can actually do it halfway in between the boss battle if you want. So, that's fine as well. Um, but all he does is just sort of swing at you. Um, sort of does a little flip, shoots these little bits of guns out, so it's not really overly complicated. Again, if you get, if your health gets low, or, you know, even roughly about halfway, again, just restore all health, literally, so you're kind of invincible. But yes, definitely, before we end this chapter, make sure you've got, like I said, around 17, 18,000, or 100 coins, or whatever it is there. <laughs> and make sure to open up all of the levels. So just go ahead and finish this boss off. Woo! Gonna take a break. So that is the level done achievement, or as it's pronounced there, the level Duan, for some reason. Uh, very clever play on words. So, like I said, hopefully you would have gotten all of the coins, because this is the upgrade menu, which you can only access after beating a level. So just go ahead, make sure everything is completely upgraded to the absolute max. I'm going to be unlocking three achievements related to said upgrades. Right there. Uh, again, if you... You know, if you didn't manage to do it, you can pr literally just blast through the level again. Or we're going to be having to finish levels off anyway. But it just makes your whole whole life one hell of a lot easier if we are managing to uh, secure all three upgrades there. So now we can go back into chapter select. We don't actually need to play the second level now. So hopefully, like I said, you would have gotten all of those coins, all of those upgrades, and all of the levels unlocked. So go now to chapter one, um, level three. And we're going to be playing just a little bit, so head down right here. Um, avoid the spikes by jumping on the box. Go right, again, now with all the health and everything, you really can just ignore most of the enemies. Um, jump down here, have a look at this blue item, and that is the triple shot achievement, which will unlock. So, very obvious looking achievement there, but again, they are very easy to miss. 
Um, again, try not to die. I have got the achievement for destroying 300 enemies there, which is why I left that particular death in. Uh, yeah, so like I said, now that your health is pretty much up to code, you are pretty much invincible, especially with the getting your restore all health. So if your health does ever get low, obviously just make sure to uh, put in the all health restoration. So we're just going to carry on with the level for just a little bit because there is a, a, another achievement that we're going to be grabbing as well. But we have to play the level just a touch. So head forward again. Again, any flames and stuff, you can just carry on. It's really only spikes that kill us pretty much instantaneously. And the big robot with the giant flaily arms, which we are coming up to. Um, but literally anything else, you can just carry on smashing through. So there was a checkpoint, just in case we need it. Um, I, You know, I'm destroying enemies as well, because it makes me feel like a big man. And we need to get an achievement for shooting 3,333 times as well. So... So jump down here then, now we can just go straight to the left, jump down, be careful here, these spikes will fall, these spiky platforms, so jump, jump, watch out for this spiky platform, don't uh, don't go into it because you'll die straight away, head forward, once again just head to the right, and we are coming up to the point now, so we need to be destroying this big giant robot, so uh, have a look at these, do not go close to this robot because he'll kill you in one hit. Uh, checkpoints are very generous in this game anyway, but saves a little bit of time, doesn't it? Uh, destroy If you want to destroy the enemies, you can. It just, you know, gets annoying when there's loads of shite shooting at you. Grab this bomb, uh, throw it again, right trigger, and then if that doesn't work, have a look at the barrels up top. Shoot the barrels at the top. That is the only way to destroy the robot. And then once that robot is destroyed, a couple of drones are going to come flying just above us so make sure to be destroying these drones there it is it's just at the top right corner there and that will unlock the mother's little helper achievement so this is the first opportunity where you can get that so <gasps> now let's try and breathe again now we can go back onto chapter select and this time we'll be choosing chapter one level four Four. We're going to be getting the roof is on fire achievement now. That's just for picking up the flamethrower. So once you start, it's very close to the beginning of the level. In fact, there it is. So it's the third <laughs> third cart over. And now we can go back onto chapter select. We actually need to now finish um, chapter one in its entirety. So let's head back to the main menu then. After you've done barbecuing people's asses off, which is... Sounds nice. Hmm? Chapter 1, level 6. So what we have to do then, all these levels are relatively short anyway. Um, but what we can do, these spiky things here, we can actually shoot off. So that makes life a whole lot easier. So we're going to clamber up here. There, there is a boss at the end of this level, but again, he is simple as pimple. Uh, checkpoint, we just went across there. You can get that bomb. Doesn't really matter. Um, wait for the platform to come. We're going to go to the right-hand side. Again, you should have a lot of health, but remember to use the cheat code if you're needing to restore said health. So the cat that doesn't actually do anything, he's just sort of stood there while all the enemies shoot at me, because that is just diggish. Watch here. Don't go too far to the left. Grab on here and then jump up. Make sure to get, um, get rid of that spiky thing. These can hurt you, but they won't kill you in one shot, so don't worry if you do get hit. We can actually just um, climb on by. Shoot all of the spikes off here so that you're not messing about, because the checkpoint is quite a, quite a distance away now. Uh, wait for the flame to go away. Shoot down this spiky thing, and then jump up again. Do not jump too high, because the robot will kill you in one hit. Jump to the other side, get rid of the spiky thing. It's so constant, as running game, gun games are, really are. Jump on this platform. Checkpoint's just above us there, so jump up. Make sure to hit this second checkpoint. Again, that comes in handy in case you die. You can actually just jump to the other side. Is there a, pl is there a platform on the other side? As soon as this stops at the top, then we can jump to the other side. Make sure not to fall. And we are actually coming up, like I said, now to the final boss. So there was the third checkpoint. So again, uh, just jump up. It's, again, relatively easy to ignore all these enemies because we've got so much health. Uh, but if you want to stop being annoyed by being shot at, then, of course, by all means, shoot at them. So as we come up to the final boss now, again, make sure to just put in restore all your health. And one thing to note... 
Um, this actually glitched out with me and the achievement didn't unlock. I had to play this level four times before it finally unlocked. So, sadly, if it does happen to you, you'll just have to quit out and complete the game, uh, complete this level again. Apologies. So, he's going to do three attacks. Um, one where his tail sort of comes down, but you can literally just stay in the very left-hand corner. These things sort of fly down. But, again, you can just stay in the left-hand corner, shoot all the crap at him, and he will die relatively quickly. So, there we go. Delicious. Delicious-style stuff. So, this is where the achievement should unlock the factory. Again, if it doesn't unlock there, it sadly means that it's glitched out, so you'll have to quit out of the game and do the level again. But, like I said, it's relatively short, so you should be golden nuggets, my friends. But for the minute, we don't actually have to play this level, so we can quit back out and go back into Chapter Select. <gasps> Take a breath! I haven't breathed! So we're going into Chapter 2, Level 2. Now we have to play a relatively short distance to grab the rocket launcher. So once again, ignore all enemies, you don't really have to shoot them. Just keep going to the right, jumping on all the platforms. Don't worry about big ball sack up top there. And the rocket launcher is right here. Here, so that should unlock for you now as well. Again, if any achievements don't, completely quit out and just try it again. It's just a pain in the ass, but sadly, tis the way it is by Chili Dog. So we don't actually have to do anything now, so we can quit back out of the main menu and <gasps> take a deep breath as we go back into chapter select. This time, go to chapter two, level four. And again, it's a relatively short distance, but we'll be getting the double shot achievement. So here, I literally just ignore all the enemies, climb on the vines, and just keep, uh, obviously, making sure not to die by falling in between the platforms. Keep jumping up on the vines, avoid the spikes there, and we will hit that first checkpoint relatively quickly. Get the double shot, and that is the achievement unlocked. So apologies if that was, well, that was extremely quick, so... Apologies about that, guys. I kept dying on those spikes on the second vine jump. So, in the end, it pissed me off. I also get the um, achievement for dying 72 times. So, you may get it quicker than me. You may get that one a little bit later on as well. So, there's only one thing left to do now for Chapter 2, and that is complete Chapter 2. So, go ahead to Chapter 2 and head into Level 6. Now, this level may take... Just a couple of minutes, uh, just a couple of minutes to do. It's not, it's not the enemies that are the problem, but it is sort of uh, knowing where to go. So ignore these big teeth tails. Like I said, there are some things that look like they can kill you, like these, like <laughs> like those gaping ball sacks right there, right here. But they actually don't harm you at all. So what we can do, and they look like they're going to explode and sort of jizz all over your face. But luckily for us. We are jizzless. And we can just clamber on up. So just go ahead, clamber on up. Not saying that being jizzed on is... Ah, uh, oh, damn it! So if that does happen, sometimes it's easier just to kill yourself and go back up. So, so this big uh, penis thing's trying to swallow you whole as well. That's We're not up for being swallowed whole by penis. Go to the right uh, and uh, ugh, interact with the lever. That's going to go down. Again, kill the enemies, because they do get annoying shooting at you and stuff. Absolute douchebags. Interact with this lever here. And we'll just have to do a little bit of platform hopping. So much stuff. Why do all things want to kill us? So again, avoid the spikes. The uh, platform spikes there at the bottom. Again, these spikes will kill you in one hit. Ignore all the ball sacks and everything. Trying to explode all their creamy ungoodness on you. I wouldn't def definitely wouldn't call it creamy goodness. And again, like I said, I'm just going to just restore all the health. You know, I, I don't wait until it gets too low. Sort of about three quarters of the way, halfway full. It's just, it's more of a just in case thing. So we've got a second checkpoint right here, which is nice. And then, yeah, so this is where it can get potentially a little bit confusing of where to go. So we just go straight down rather than up as I went to go there. And again, this this thing, I could make so many puns right now, but I'm trying to be a good boy for once. For once. Anyway, we can't, We actually need the uh, platform to come back across so we can jump on that to be able to jump up onto the walls. So, make sure to do that. 
And there we go. So make sure to get the checkpoint here as well. Uh, there were spikes up there. Try, try to avoid them. Keep going to the right. And this, again, was a potentially confusing bit. Um, so you can, you can go up here because, of course, you can save all these guys who just seem to be stuck there for some reason in the monsters of bellies. But where we actually need to go is down and to the right. And you need to be careful here. Jump on these vines. Wait until the platform goes, then jump. Wait until that one goes up, then just dive under. A couple of enemies going to splash down here. Let's make sure to kick that ass. And then jump it up, jump it up, jump it up. Now be careful, there are spikes at the top, which if you jump too high, you can die. Go on these little bits of vines here to the right. And we are finally coming up to the boss, which I don't even think tries to attack you for some reason. But again, if you need to restore all the health, make sure to do it now. Climb on these vines, shoot at this big giant eyeball ball sack kind of whatever the hell that is with teeth. Ah, just keep shooting it until that dies. And hopefully for you, the monster belly achievement should unlock. And what also unlocks for me is the shooting 3,333 times achievement also unlocks for me there. So again... That may be one that, if you're fantastic at running gun games like I am completely not, I am useless, you might get that achievement earlier or a little bit later, but we'll get that later. So, <gasps> Jesus, on to chapter three, and we're going on to chapter three, level one. So we do only have two achievements left to get now. Now we'll be grabbing the plasma gun. So once again, we need to play a little bit into the level. Uh, so we, what we actually need to do, as you can see, there's a locked door. So you can see a box just up above us. So go ahead and we'll be pushing that down with the epic boob strength, which I've got myself, being a chubby man. Uh, anyway, now we should be good. The door should be closed. So again, you can destroy the enemies if you want. You can just run past them like I've been doing for the majority of the game. Probably worth just um, running straight past. And then we'll be climbing up. Platform up, climbing up. Jump up to the wall and the plasma gun is going to be just on the other side of this wall. You can probably see it just on your right hand side there. You know, that... <laughs> I can't tell you how many times that annoyed the crap out of me falling from the game so jump down that's the plasma gun that is the achievement done so now uh, providing on your debt uh, how many times you've died and how many times you've shot we should only have one achievement left and that is for completing uh chapter three now so <gasps> we're almost there so chapter three there you go click on it then come on boy ah there we go chapter three go to level final and there's again this level is roughly around two and a half to three minutes long again depending on how good you are like i said i'm pretty much a useless piece of crap at running gun games but hey i provide a good guide right R right yeah anyway so let's go for self-praise later so once again you're gonna have to be a little bit more careful on this part, but just wait a little bit until this platform jumps down right here. Climb up, avoid the robot, and there's going to be a bunch of barrels at the top of this robot to our right. So obviously just make sure to uh, kill that robot before we move on, because of course that's one hit death. Um, I'm only killing these guys because they annoyed the crap out of me as well. Like, why, 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 why shoot at me? Hmm? Why shooting at me? This is a running gun game, and he's shooting at me. I thought I'd find that pathetic. But anyway, make sure to restore your health. We've got sort of part one of this boss right here, and all it is, all we need to do is just shoot off these arms, uh, but two enemies are going to fly down and try and eat you out. I, I mean, beat your meat. I mean, kill you. There they are. So <laughs> make sure to kill them first. Obviously, try to keep aiming for the arm as well. I don't actually think the arms hurt you. I think it's more just the enemy. So, again, destroy then. Destroy the arm. And that'll start to explode on. But again, this is not the final boss. Uh, destroy these enemies. Uh, trying to get caught in the blast. I think that was hurting me there. But again, like I said, always when I get about halfway, restore the health. It's more of a uh, just-in-case extra paranoia thing. Like having to check your door if you've locked it twice. I do that three times. 
So this is more of a sort of platforming section. We've just hit a checkpoint. This is more of a platforming section for the moment. The green blobs of poison will hurt you. Be careful on the vines not to die by the spikes. Uh, don't worry about that. That can barely hurt you. But eventually, at this point, we're going to start getting lava or something uh, coming up. So it's literally just a case of going left and right, left, right and up as much as you can. Until we get to the very top again, kind of an easy section, but without any enemies, even if you do die, it's kind of a nice little, kind of a nice little break. So we've hit the checkpoint, we are now going to be coming up to the boss after this little platform and section, once again. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, if you haven't got that much health, again, make sure to restore all your health. Again, you can do it during the boss fight as well, so even if he... Even if you're sort of low on health during the boss fight, press start, put in the cheat code, do that. Um, what he's going to do then is shoot at you. Then he's going to sort of fly in the air and do like a four time laser beam sort of thing uh, for a sh few short seconds. Then he's going to sort of charge at you and jump down. He's going to jump down on you and then charge at you. So I didn't, you know, my health went down a little bit, but it wasn't too much. So just keep, make sure to just keep shooting at him. And then when we get about halfway, the screen is going to change and we're going to go into the previous area. So that's literally all it is. He's got three or four of these little attacks. Again, make sure to just restore your health if you get low. But just keep on shooting and do the game. Yes. Big Boob Lady wins. And there we have it then, guys and gals. So that is hopefully you done as well, roughly around an hour. Remember, if you haven't got the two achievements for dying 72 times and shooting 3,333 times, obviously make sure to get them first. But if you're on the same as me, you've got all 21 achievements. Congratulations, guys and gals. Thank you so much for watching. Hope the game and the guide provided you with much entertainment and goodness. Uh, of course, if it, if it did help, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, as it always helps. Uh, big shout out to TimG84 for continuing to support the show and the channel on Patreon, as well as my other Patreons as well. Don't forget to check me out on Twitter, Instagram, and like I said, Patreon. But that's it then, guys and gals. Thanks so much for watching again. See you in the next one. Big love.